All right, I'm arriving in Pendrago. Rose should be here somewhere, trying to help her squad, her organization. We truly are affiliated with every single side of the struggle, aren't we? A war is breaking out, and we are... We have connections with uh, Rollins, we have collections, connections with Highland, and we even have connections with the organization being blamed for the murder of the Cardinal, who has quickly gone from being a right, straight-up Hellion to basically the Franz Ferdinand of this entire storyline, except a false one. Look! Another one! That's number five! What happened? Didn't you hear? Every night lately, someone raids one of the nobles' mansions. Funny sort of burglar, too. They leave one of those notes around every time they pull off a heist. And then they toss the stolen money all over the streets. If only we'd gotten here a bit earlier. We could have snatched some of it. Who would want the rotten charity of a thief anyway? I'm really worried about Rose. But there's nothing we can do right now. Any move she makes is bound to be under the cover of night. Let's wait until dark. There's definitely a trend here. It's like we're not allowed to ever progress the story, specifically in Pandrago, unless it's nighttime. We've definitely uh, made the transition a number of times. Let's head for the Nobles District. If Rose is anywhere, it's probably there. Alright, Rose, what are you up to? You're trying to lure out Lunar. I'm trying to remember who Lunar was now. Was that the weird blonde guy in the beginning of the game? I think it was. We saw, we saw him here last time, for sure. What do you mean you can't pay me as promised? Of course not. Do you realize the extent of our losses? 30 guards injured. Over 20 million golds worth in damages. So what? Not my fault your guards are such incompetence. Be that as it may, it is you whom the thief is after. <sighs> the Scattered Bones execution will be early tomorrow morning. Settle your problems there. After that, we'll see about your reward. And how am I supposed to find her? That sounds very much like a problem that is not mine. You used to work with her. You're a creative fellow. I'm sure you can come up with something. Yeah, whatever. The Hellions? Nope, surprise lizard warriors. Uh, resistant to... Oh, weakness is physical. Alright. I got a little bit of that to throw around. Oh, whoop. Well, yeah, they're, they're pretty much down already. Let's keep those physical attacks going for a little bit. Oop. There we go. Crap! We lost that damn fox! Let's get hunting! We need to find him before dawn! Well, if we were trying to stealthily sneak up behind him, I don't think the sword fight helped that very much. Unless he's truly deaf. To be fair, we were kicking his ass from the very beginning of this adventure, so I don't think he's a... He doesn't seem to be particularly good at his job. Having a giant ponytail that just shines light, practically, isn't great for stealth either.
So, Lunar, we meet again. Yes, just the way you wanted it. Good. This would have been a bit trickier if you'd been stuck in a jail cell. I didn't want to be here, but now I'm thinking I just might enjoy this. When I kill you with my own hands! Boss! Forget it! Just run! What's wrong? You're looking ragged! Sorry, a certain fellow would never forgive me if I let her die like that. Leave him to us. They need you, Rose. Got it. I'll be right back. Shepard. Rex. Yeah, starting to seem like that, uh, sending Rose off on her own was kind of pointless, wasn't it? Alright, his only non-resistance is fire. Death, Don't let your guards off. down. He's a sly one. Yes. His malevolence is highly intensified. I got you! Back off! Put a few holes in him real quick and we'll be fine. How much health does he have though? He's level 60. 30,000 hit points. Alright, he's gonna last a while then, huh? Just work on him for a little bit. Oopsie. I'll say the scary thing about armatizing with Ro without Rose around is that uh, there's definitely a, there's a very clear ri risk for the fact that I don't have anyone around to help me out. That SC back. Oh, tried to dodge, but I still took the damage. God damn, he is quite durable. Oh no, he's taking more damage than it looks like. He's like one sixth down on his health. It's just his health bar looks like it hasn't moved a s even the slightest bit. Oh god. Thank you. Nope. He, de he definitely hits you even when you think he's not going to hit you. No, 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 don't get out. Oh, crap. Couldn't cancel it at that point because I'd already started cast. Damn it. Yeah, all of, his, all of his abilities are faster than mine, unfortunately. No. I'm trying to heal, damn it. <laughs> Leave me alone. No, no, no. Nope. Alright. Nope. I'm gonna say that having Saray in his non-armatized attack animation is probably gonna help me out more than uh, having us armatize. Oh shit. That was a bit of a surprise. Nope. Dot, you're a nasty one, aren't you? No, stop chasing me. Go after Saray for a second, but also don't kill him, please. <laughs> there we go. Quickly heal. Oh, wow. That's gonna take a while. Oh. Nasty, aren't you? He's a nasty one. Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean to stop casting. Bummer. No, quick, no, no, no. Quickly heal. You're first! Thanks. Guess we're even. You good to go? He's my family. I'll handle this. Shut up! Oh yeah, full party. Now you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're about to get a reminder for why this fight was why this fight was so easy when we did it a few hours ago. It's just having the uh, the weird mini uh, the weird incorrect sized party was screwing with me a lot. 
Ow, rude. Come on, buddy. Come get me. Nope. Put some holes in him. Yeah. Okay, this is working out just fine. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that extended uh, staff combo. I can't see what I'm doing right now at all. <laughs> Camera man, come on. Help me out a little bit. That was kind of pointless. <laughs> that was mean, by the way. That wasn't automated. I, I just thought I'd give it a shot, but that was clearly not the right call. There we go. Saray's healthy again. Yeah, either way, he should be overwhelmed at this point. Nothing about his move set is good for fighting four characters at once, as far as I can tell. He has a lot of uh, he mostly just has a lot of a lot of obnoxious single target attacks. The fact that you have to fight him with just two characters multiple times, I think, might indicate why he's so easy every time you have a full party. Cause they had, they had to balance him around a complete uh, the other type of fight. Because you fight him with Saray and Mikleo at the beginning of the game, and now we're fighting him. We were fighting him again with just Saray plus whoever he uses. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, I was gonna say, please don't abruptly wipe out my entire party. Uh, did okay, who's left? Okay, Mikleo's still alive. I was worried. <laughs> Put a bunch of holes in him, it's cool. Yeah. He is... The rough thing is definitely that he's resistant to everything except for fire. Does not help me out a lot. Come on. A little bit of fire never hurt anyone, right? Except for everyone. Ow. My poor SC. Oop, wrong spell. Should probably be using Photon Blaze. There we go. They'll keep, they'll keep him busy for a little while. Unfortunately, it's not a weak spot. It's just a, something he's not resistant to. So it's more of a de facto weak spot than anything else. It's wearing him down, though. He's down to his... Yep. He's two-thirds down. Quite durable. Once once the full party is up and hitting him, he generally can he can't really do much. He just kind of slowly gets beaten down by everyone because he can't do any actions half the time while everyone's beating on him. Really, I think that's really the best thing I can do, more or less, is just hit, keep hitting him with something that actually stuns and er, interrupts him briefly because of the fact that he's not resistant to it. Alternatively, he might get something nasty off, like when he obliterated Saray earlier. Oh, here it comes. Nice try. Wow, I dodged that really early too. It wasn't exactly much to much work to avoid. Ow, rude. I'll do a little bit of healing. Nope. I saw an attack coming. I'm just gonna go ahead and armatize now. We're gonna have some fun here. Shepard can't purify me. Jeez, it's the same as the cardinal. B boss, what on earth, Rose? This is my job. May these weary bones find peaceful rest. Uh, the hell with that! I spit on your peaceful rest! For all your fancy words, you're nothing but a street thug! I know. 
a murderer, and a fake family. So? It's me, <gasps> Jack! <laughs> Alicia would be at the Highland Army base? This whole thing is her worst nightmare come true. It's gotta be awful for her. Yeah, cause she's painfully sincere. Like someone else we all know. Uh, uh. Saray, let's head on over to the Highland camp. Definitely funny to do. Have what, I've said it before, but it's funny to have that big dramatic cutscene and everyone's sad, then, then just smiley face, faces pop up over everybody. Alicia? I rose, I mean, sorry. I'm okay, go on ahead, don't worry about me. I'll catch up once I've seen everyone here. Ah, uh, you can't do her event early to get her back in the party. That's a bummer. You rescued my family, I can't express how grateful I am. Okay, how do I talk to this guy? Eh? Damn it. <laughs> do I sneak up behind him? I don't know what happened, but I do know that you saved our lives. Thank you so much. I shepherded. We understand how it is, us and the boss. Lunar, I never knew you thought of us that way. Oh yeah, he's not... He was apparently not a fan, although he was a Hellion at that point, so who knows what the original Lunar thought. We literally never met him, because he's like the first... He's practically the first Hellion we met in the game. He showed up in town, and I think... I Didn't it say that he basically ate a Seraphim or something? Like, he was... He was definitely trying to eat us. So he was, he's actually one of the more comical uh, Hellions we've encountered in this game. And now he's dead. Turns out his storyline didn't really amount to much besides just involving, showing that a Hellion could be a part of the uh, Rose's organization from the inside. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't some kind of surprise reveal or anything like that. Like you see him and he maybe have him be a slightly sympathetic character then he gives in to being a Hellion and then gets twisted. Like the uh... I think of the Chimera storyline from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, for example. Especially the uh, the not quite canon version of the anime where it's drawn out for longer. But no, Lunar, from the very first scene you see him, and is basically a monster. Alright, we need to find our way to Alicia. Alright, I've warped my way into a Falkland hillside over by Marland. Because that's where we're going to try to get to a Glyvin Basin from the opposite end for Alicia. Now here's the site I haven't visited in a while. Go ahead and do a quick save. Hello. Prepare for the assault. Once we receive the royal order, our entire forces will destroy the Roland's army. God damn it, Maltran. Who's the scum lord? Yes, you are. My my, Shepherd Saray. Welcome to our base. Perfect. We are moments from receiving the royal order authorizing our assault. And the messenger will be an old friend of yours. You can't mean... You're making Alicia do that? <laughs> it's cruel of Bartlow, but still an ingenious plan. If she brings the order, the war is on. And should she refuse, he can have her court-martialed for treason. I can only imagine her dismay. You disgust me. Will you attack me? Please, be my guest. Then I could reasonably claim that spies from Rollins were in our camp. No need to wait for a royal order. <sighs> Looks like the odds are stacked against us. We're going to need Alicia's help to hold back the army. Alicia, is it? Go ahead and try then. I'm very curious. I find myself having a surprisingly similar reaction to this game that I have with The uh, Witcher 3, which is that the entire campaign is built around this massive war between multiple empires, 
But ultimately, it just comes down to the fact that you have friends on all that are on all the various sides, and you only really care about their fates, and don't give the slightest bit of craps about uh, who's gonna win the war, because they're either faceless or awful, monstrous people. I wonder what this devil tail looks like I just found. Devil tail? Tiny little devil tail? That actually could work for- Oh no, but I'm, I'm maxed out. That's a bummer. Because a devil tail could totally go with the uh, the wings and everything for this costume. Yeah. It's a little silly though. It's a little silly. I'll, I'll stick with the wings for now. Yeah, I think the only person I'd really uh, stick it on is Edna out of this party. And her, uh... She and Lila both have such huge dresses, or skirts in that case, maybe, that uh, they would overlap most of it anyway, so it's kind of not worth adding. Hmm? Norman for the win, huh? It's supposed to- oh, there it is. They actually noticed one before me. Wasn't necessarily on the, uh, on the outlook for it, but it's there. There we go. Bye, little person. All right, we were supposed to meet with Alicia. Wait, do I know where Alicia is? <laughs> um. Whoops. Yeah, is Alicia over here? All I see is soldiers. We are currently in a state of heightened tension with Rollins. Please refrain from any action that might stir things up any further. I can't go that way? Aw. Oh. That's clearly some kind of- that's clearly a Hellion out there, too, with the floating armor. This is different from the last battle. I think we may well end up fighting until one of us is wiped out. That is exactly what I'm trying to stop. Oh, is Alicia in the tent? No. Am I- am I an insane person right now? The camps for platoons... Uh, one through three have now been set up. We are ready to attack the enemy at any time. Rollins is making their line of defense to west of the basin, and the uh, advance parties have already commenced conflict. I feel like, I think the camera pointed in this direction when it said to go find Alicia, but it does not seem to have managed to being any actual indication of where she is. And as, as after a once over of this camp, all I see is blue people and not the pink character that Alicia looks like. So I don't think she's here. I guess I'll go have a look around. Alicia wasn't at the army base. Let's check over at Lady Lake. But if we get Alicia involved, we'll have no choice but to tell her that Maltran is a Hellion. She'd be hurt for sure. I'm aware, but there's no other choice. At some point, she's just gonna have to become aware of all the monsters involved here. Alright, so now I've made my way back into the Nobleman's District of Lady Lake. I was caught off guard by, at first by the fact that she'd be all the way back here instead. How dare you obstruct our glorious battle! You're a disgrace to Highland! What's gotten into you? Alicia! She has a very high threshold for putting up for the, with the fact that she's constantly being attacked by people around here. Like, way too often. It's getting weird. Saray? We'll talk later. Are we good, Lila? Yes! I've reactivated her squire's pack! Air pack we'll right now! Hey, a princess. Name's Avid. Nice to meet you. R right. That look in your eyes says you have a question. No, I think I'll focus on the battle for now. Don't worry, Edna's got this. Bye, everyone! Oh, this guy got- I got, must have missed this guy a few times. And that's more or less what brought us here. I see. Zavid always talks about himself. <laughs> we'll fill her in later. Why were those soldiers attacking you? Probably because I've been stalling the war. I have yet to deliver the royal order authorizing our attack. And they hate and resent you that much? You can see for yourself. There's not a thing in the world that can prevent this war now. 
You're giving up? What else can I do? What else do you expect me to do? The King has commanded that we launch an attack on Rollins. An official royal order has already been issued. If that dumb piece of paper's causing you all that grief, why don't you just chuck it? Just chuck it? What exactly do you mean by chuck it? Just what I said. Tear up the damn thing like it never existed. I can't! You can't expect Alicia to do something like that. Hey, no pressure. I don't mind seeing her beautiful face all scrunched up in pain. No. <sighs> Saray, I think perhaps the only way to stop this war is to do as Zavid suggested. Would you be willing to assist me in this? Are you sure about this? You would be rebelling against your own country. I know the risks. All right. Well, if Alicia's made up her mind, we can't refuse her, can we? Zavid, may I trust you in this matter as well? I can't decline a heroic princess. Your face looks better with a smile on it anyway. It's too early to give up. Sergei of Rollins is working to bring this war to a halt as well. So there are those on the other side, too. One ray of hope is that Lady Maltran is the one commanding our army. She is bound to cooperate with us. What's wrong? I hate to tell you this, but Maltran's not gonna help you. She is a Hellion. <gasps> she serves the Lord of Calamity. She was the one pushing for war in the first place. Edna! We had to tell her at some point. Yeah, better she hear it now than get stabbed in the back later. That can't be true! Don't you even dare joke about such a thing! Alicia, please calm down. No! Lady Maltran! She always encouraged me, even when... <laughs> I apologize. I will see Lady Maltran and verify this for myself. Back to that scrunched up face of hers. Well, this isn't going to end well at all. Hey, are your eyes okay? It's fine. My vision's good. Oh, good. So that means you've become stronger. Just a little bit blurry is all. A little bit? That could cost you your life in battle. Perhaps. But this is something you need to see through to the end. Well, I... We've got way more important things to worry about. Saray needs you. Nothing will change that. Let's go, Alicia. Okay. So we still have the problem where Alicia is not suitable enough as a companion and basically endangers Saray's life by being in the party. It's a very encouraging thing to give somebody. The fact that she gave up so quickly when this came up originally probably means that she is very susceptible to Maltran's encouragement in general. So I assume we're just gonna warp right back to the, the fight, basically. Let's see. Cannot travel between save points now. Oh, I need to walk out of here. Huh. I wonder if I should rest at the inn, just because that often does... That often triggers events. Being able to fuse equipment at the shop is really convenient to help prep for battle. Yes. It's amazing how even among humans, there are those who can extract the full potential of certain equipment like the Divine Artifact. Plus, it looks like we can fuse unneeded equipment together to breathe new use into them. I have some experience with this sort of thing as well, although it may take time to get used to it again. Wow! Will I be able to do it someday? For those that don't possess the required innate qualities, I've heard that it feels like their nerve cells are getting sliced from the back of their heads. Oh. That's a surprisingly outdated piece of dialogue. It's not even designed for you to have more party members yet. Alright. New talent fusion. 
just happened. Okay. That's a bit of a surprise. So I guess I just have to walk out of here manually. I'm not allowed to do any save point traveling. I assume that means that something's gonna happen the moment I try to go outside again. We do need to make our way all the way back to the boss fight. I mean the uh, the uh, the the battlefield from earlier, I believe. I finished preparing the gel. Unless Maltran knows what we're up to and is planning on ambushing us, or 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 am I gonna magically be able to fast travel now? Nope, cannot. Yeah, we just can't travel between save points now. Interesting. Have I just done it too much because I've gone to so many points? You've toughened up a bit yourself. Yes, I've been undergoing intensive training. Under Lady Maltran. Oh, I see. That's plenty awkward. Oh yeah, she's getting tougher. Because she's been trained by the person we're about to probably take down. Because turns out she's not up to any good. It's good to actually get the opportunity to go after both sides, though. We were isolated for a while, so we couldn't do anything about it. But we've known for a while that there's evil forces on both sides basically causing this entire situation to be possible. So at least we're getting the opportunity to go to strike back at them. Although not much, really. I guess the, the, take, going after Maltran is really the first big example. Because uh, we fought that one little girl plenty of times on the other side. And, and, uh... Dealing with one rogue Skull Bones character isn't that much of a deal. Milady. So, you finally figured out who I really am. Why? For the ideals I cherish most. Now, messenger, the royal order, if you please. We have a war to start. Uh. Then I'll take it by force. This way, too many prying eyes out here. Wait, we're really gonna take that bait? It's like, we should fight, but wait, come over here. In this dark alley first. We wouldn't want everyone to realize who you are. <laughs> or like who I am, really. It's like, no, let's let's reveal that she's a monster. I guess the problem is that only the shepherd can see this stuff, so Wait, she came here, right? Where is she? Wait, where'd she go? How? How could she Alicia? You're there, aren't you? Oh, there's a Norman back here. Ah! Don't leave me alone for a second, guys. I just want the Norman. Hello. I guess it is handy to have that ability, because there are still ones around that I haven't grabbed yet. Bye, Norman. Wow. Did not realize I was missing one over there, but I guess that's... Yeah, it's definitely the reason to have that ability equipped is to have it pop up when I'm running around. All right, so where did where did she go exactly? Is she just gonna be... Oh yeah, she totally just re-adopted the, uh, Lila, the boss battle location. I... I honestly cannot tell you for sure. So all we know is she's one to watch out for, huh? A strong, sexy lady. I'm not seeing the downsides myself. Except for the part where she's a Hellion? Oh, Zavid, you are not really capable of feeding yourself, are you? Yes, yeah, she, she totally just adopted that plant's ba battlefield. She's like, this is my boss chamber now. Let's be quick about this. I have other work to attend to. Lady Maltran, why? You are disgracefully slow to catch on. <sighs> what you see before you is reality and truth. One who cannot accept reality for what it is has no hope of being a leader to the people. I acknowledge my lack of resolve, but... 
then you should have realized by now that your naive ideals have no meaning whatsoever in this present state of affairs. Not to the kingdom, not to the citizenry, certainly not to me. Then, then why did you act so encouraging and supportive to me all this time? Because you served two vital functions. One of which was your utility in getting Highland and Rollins to finally clash with their full military might. Your incessant whining was just the thing to provoke Bartlow and the others to action. Uh, uh. Alicia's ideals do hold meaning and value. That's right. Saray believes in her, even if you don't. And he isn't the only one. I'm giving my dear pupil her final lesson. Kindly stay out of this. What, you can't deal with reality and truth? So many empty words. Who's slow to catch on now? A fair point. No need to exchange words when blows will suffice. For your other vital function. Stand back, Alicia! All right. I was gonna say, why you, why you, why is she uh, monologuing right now? Seems like an all-around bad fit. All right, the other weakness is gonna be Zavid. I can do this. Your technique is appalling, Alicia. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. I can't tell. She's a hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. Let's try, let's just try making a mess in general. Then see what happens. Just see what comes out. How's that feeling? Eh, she's down 3k. That's about 10% of her hit points. Some progress is being made. I figure the best approach is just to kind of surround her and try to reduce how many people get hurt, or get hurt by her at once. Chicks dig rainbows. Just, just having fun saying that one. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Back off. Wow. Saray was having some fun up there in the sky. Try to recover a bit. Ow. There we go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get out. Ow. Wow. I'm just trying to get away from the, the attacks for a second. There we go. That'll buy me some time. She's definitely taking damage, even if she's resisting it. It's like a thousand at a time. Oh yeah, she's down by a third. I don't actually know what that attack does. Oh yeah, that co that, that melee combo is still like a thousand damage. Just be careful not to get beat down too hard. If I do that much damage with a normal combo, then do, doing my doing the finisher would def would probably put, take a chunk out of her. I need a lot more guard. For, I need a lot more uh, BG for that though. She is not getting moved to fight back. I mean, room to fight back. Nope. Nice try. Oh yeah, getting surrounded by enough melee characters seems to be plenty. Definitely helps that we're using the two characters he's, she's not resistant to. Oh yeah. There are just enough attacks coming in at once. Oh no. This is where, that's where things get really bad. Let's go ahead and recover a little bit. Uh, you want to armatize? Oh, oh crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk her into you. She, she should really armatize to get uh, Alicia back up. Ow. Rude. Get a bit of recovery going on. Alright, seriously. Please. please. God damn it, now she's dead. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Alright, uh... Really wanted her to... Armatize. Can't armatize. Can I not armatize? What's going on? Oh, 
trying to stack some attacks a little bit. I guess I should just try to heal. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 he oh crap. That's all of them. Weird. That's really strange. So only, so I just can't armatize with, with Felicia, apparently. I'll just try to keep them healthy and we should be fine. It would definitely be healthy if he could play as one of the characters that were actually strong against this boss though. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no. That's bad. That's a bad thing. It's very much a bad thing. Yay! Alright, fire's back. That's good. Hey guys, you should get their attention real quick. There we go. I'll try to keep you up. There we go. They'll be good. Oh, 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 ow, ow. I tried, to, I tried to dodge out of the way, but I didn't do it in time, I guess. Rude. Oh yeah, they're plenty healthy at the moment. Let's throw some attacks around for a little bit. It's not working. I'm not letting you purify me. What truly needs purification is this entire world. Please, Lady Maltran, stop! You are just being deceived by the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> You're soft to the core, aren't you? Of all your flaws, that might be... <laughs> what I hate about you the most... This is reality, Alicia. I have proven my dedication to my lord. I have no regrets. Alicia! Wow. Maltron ex basically just executed herself out of spite. That's a bit of a surprise. Alicia's not gonna take any part of this well. As expected. I don't think she Honestly, I don't think she's taken any part of the story well so far. <laughs> Alicia. I can't do this. I can't! I can't! I want to go home! I don't care about all this anymore! About the war, about our nation, about our people! I'm sick of their gossip, their mockery, their lies! Everything! I quit! I'm done being a princess, being a knight! Barlow and his guns can do whatever they want! I've tried so hard for everyone. <laughs> and what good did it do? And <laughs> still I... And yet, you still want to stop the war, right? I feel just like you in a lot of ways. The strength of a knight exists to protect their kindness serves the people. Lady Maltran's words still linger in my ears. I know she undoubtedly meant nothing by it. Just some pretty nonsense to lead me on. Maybe. But even if she did, you took those words to heart, didn't you? Hmm. 
And the Alicia standing right here is as real as it gets. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this side of my reality. Let me see what I can do about the Highland Army. I'm naive and soft and whiny enough to think it'll work. That's just who I am. Young folks, always with the melodrama. Sorry about that. What? Are you crying too? It's so beautiful. You say something? Nothing. Nothing. Sadly, our tragically noble princess won't get a chance to do a thing. What do you mean? The war's already on. The Roland's Empire and the Kingdom of Highland. Battle of the Century. What? If you run, you might still catch it. I hear there could even be an extra special guest star. Bring your popcorn. <gasps> Looks like that's our next job. Rose? You'll need friends to get the job done, right? All right, that brief little two-episode interlude's kind of wrapped up. And it looks like we're just right back to fighting a war. This is just the best place, isn't it? Oh, something I was already filled up on. This this whole continent's kind of doomed. I just... the best I can do is kind of just hope that, uh... we can defeat the Lord of Calamity and keep the characters I care about alive. Because, uh... A lot of faceless soldiers are gonna become, in some cases, literally faceless. Oh, I think we're pretty much gonna cut it here, though. So thanks for watching, like always, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm just gonna wander outside and save out here, and then we're gonna probably walk over to that war and maybe even see another dramatic animated scene. Last time we went to the war, at least, there was an actual, like, anime cutscene that kind of represented the war itself, and then suddenly we were off with, uh, Rose. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.